Metals are elements that are typically hard, shiny, malleable, meaning they can be hammered into thin sheets and ductile, meaning they can be drawn into wires. They are also good conductors of heat and electricity. Metals are found everywhere in our daily lives, from the steel in buildings to the copper in electrical wires. However, metals don't usually exist in their pure form in nature. They are often found as part of compounds, which are combinations of metals with other elements. In this note, we'll explore the properties of metals and their compounds. Properties of Metals Luster metals have a shiny appearance. This property is called luster. For example, gold and silver are shiny metals. Conductivity Metals are excellent conductors of heat and electricity. This is why copper is commonly used in electrical wiring. Malleability Metals can be hammered or rolled into thin sheets without breaking. For example, aluminum foil is made from aluminum metal. Ductility Metals can be stretched into wires. Copper, for instance, is used to make electrical cables because it can be easily drawn into wires. Density metals tend to have high density, meaning they are heavy for their size. This is why metals like iron and lead feel heavier than non-metals like plastic or wood. Strength. Most metals are strong and can hold heavy loads. Steel, which is an alloy of iron, is widely used in construction because of its strength. High melting points. Metals usually have high melting points, meaning they need a lot of heat to melt. For example, Iron melts at 1,538 degrees Celsius. Metal compounds. Metals often react with other elements to form compounds. A compound is a substance made of two or more elements chemically bonded together. When metals combine with non-metals, they form different types of compounds. Here are a few common types of metal compounds. Metal oxides. These are compounds formed when metals react with oxygen. For example, magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Metal oxides are often basic, meaning they react with acids to form salts and water. Rust, which is iron oxide, is a common example of a metal oxide. Metal hydroxides. When metal oxides dissolve in water, they can form metal hydroxides. For example, sodium oxide reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. Metal chlorides When metals react with chlorine, they form metal chlorides. Sodium chloride, commonly known as table salt, is an example of a metal chloride. It forms when sodium, a metal, reacts with chlorine, a non-metal. Metal carbonates are quite interesting. These compounds contain metal ions and carbonate ions, which are denoted as CO3-2-. For instance, calcium carbonate, represented as KaCO3, is found in everyday items like chalk, limestone and marble. You might be familiar with how metal carbonates often react with acids, producing carbon dioxide gas, water and a salt. Reactivity of metals is a fascinating topic. Not all metals react the same way with other substances. Some metals are more reactive, while others are less reactive. This is what we call metal reactivity. Metals are often arranged in a reactivity series based on how easily they react with water, acids and other chemicals. So, let's take a brief look at how some metals behave. Highly reactive metals, like sodium and potassium, react vigorously with water and air. For example, when sodium is placed in water, it reacts quickly and produces hydrogen gas. The chemical equation for this reaction is 2 sodium plus 2 water gives you 2 sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Moderately reactive metals. Metals like iron and zinc are less reactive. 
they don't react with water, but they do react with acids to produce hydrogen gas. For example, zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid, but text Zen plus two plant pals text HCl, right arrow by text Zen Cl two plus by text H two. Low reactivity metals. Metals like gold and platinum are very unreactive. They don't react easily with water, acids, or even oxygen. This is why gold is often used to make jewelry. It doesn't tarnish or rust easily. Uses of metals and their compounds. Metals and their compounds have many uses in everyday life. One, construction metals like iron and steel are used to build bridges, skyscrapers, and vehicles because of their strength and durability. Two, electrical wiring. Copper is widely used in electrical wiring because of its excellent conductivity. Three, jewelry. Gold, silver and platinum are used in jewelry because they are shiny and don't corrode easily. 4. Medicine Certain metal compounds are used in medicines. For example, iron supplements are given to people with low iron levels in their blood. 5. Batteries metals like lithium and zinc are used in batteries to store and provide energy. Conclusion Metals are an essential part of our everyday lives, from the steel in buildings to the copper in electrical wiring. While pure metals have their uses, metal compounds are also important and have a wide range of applications. By understanding the properties and uses of metals and their compounds, you can appreciate how vital they are to modern life.